welcome in today's video I'm going to redo this little table and chairs the process was quite long there were several steps it took about two weeks to get this completely finished but through the magic of video I can show you my process in about 10 minutes so come along with me as I refinish this little table and chairs. The first issue I had with this makeover was that the table and chair chairs did not go together. They were not bought together. The wood was different, the color was different. So in my makeover, I had to make it look like they were a set. To blend these two pieces together, I'm going to use a combination of paint and stain. I'm going to stain the top of the table and uh, the seat of the chairs, and then I'm going to paint the legs and the base of the table. I begin by sanding and stripping the areas that I'm going to stain. It is so important when you restain a piece that you get all the old off and a lot of times you need to use a chemical stripper to do that. I'm going to leave a link to my video on how to use chemical stripper and hopefully you'll check it out and it will be helpful. Once the tabletop was completely stripped down, I moved on to the chairs. I'm just going to stain the seat of the chairs. So I repeated the same process that I did with the tabletop to the chair seats. After using the chemical stripper, I sanded the areas down once again. This is just to ensure that all the chemical is off of the wood and that any leftover debris is sanded down. It also opens the pores of the wood so that it will accept the stain a lot better and more evenly. wash down the set. I like using a product called Liquid Sander. It um, deglosses and it also cleans. The piece was pretty dirty and uh, from all the sanding and if there was any chemical stripper left behind this will remove it. It's been several days now since I prepped the table and chairs, but it's finally time to paint. I love redoing furniture, but this is a hobby. I have a real job, so I have to fit my passion in between the little free time I have. Like I said at the very beginning, this makeover took several weeks, hence the reason for the many different wardrobe changes. To 
the paint, I ended up just using spray paint. I would have used my sprayer, but my air compressor is broke, so I couldn't use that. I tried brushing it on. That went very slow. It didn't cover well, so I ended up going to the store and picking up some spray paint. The spray paint that I like to use is the Rust-Oleum brand. However, when I got to the store, they were completely out of Rust-Oleum brand. The selection was limited. I guess spray paint is on the boat with all our other supplies. After letting the paint dry for at least 24 hours, it was time to distress. I considered leaving just the clean white lines, but distressing a piece can hide flaws and over time if the paint chips or gets marked up, it looks like it was supposed to be there opposed to standing out. I'm carefully deciding where I want to distress. I'm sanding or distressing the areas that would naturally have been worn from use. stain. I begin by using a little sample strip on my tabletop and my seat so that I could uh, match the colors. When staining, I make sure I at least apply two coats of the stain. This helps the uh, piece to be more even. Above is a link to a video which shows tips on staining. Check it out and I hope it's helpful. So the seats to the chairs were a different type of wood. It was a lot lighter. I needed to match the stain. 
I started off by using the same color that I used on the table. Then for my second coat, I went back and used a darker color. There are several ways that stain can be mixed and matched. For this project, this is the way that I chose to match the stains. And I think that it, the colors matched pretty well. Here's a little tidbit that my grandfather taught me when painting. You may already know this, but it works pretty well. I got stain on my freshly painted spindles. So after soaking a rag in some turpentine, I just wiped the stain off before it dried. Using this method, it will clean up nicely. It also works on uh, other paint as well. After the stain has dried for at least 24 hours, it's time to protect with varnish. Because this is a tabletop and chairs and it's where it's going to be used, I put four coats of the varnish, letting it dry and sanding between each coat. So it took about two days to completely uh, varnish the table. For coming on this journey with me and I hope this video has inspired you to do a furniture makeover of your own.